Hey guys, I sit here and welcome to JavaScript tutorial number 15, uh, I think. Um, in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at something I recently just found out. Uh, and by recently, I mean in the past half hour, maybe. Um, and that is how to make um, sort of tooltips, uh, if you know what that is. If you don't, uh, you'll find out in a second, though. Um, and this method can be applied to pretty much anything that needs to be used in the same way and by that I'll explain in a sec as well um, in fact when I first found out about it it wasn't being used for tooltips it was being used for something else um, so I modified it when I found out I could uh, make it how I wanted it to be uh, but anyway let's take a look at what we're actually going to be making um, if I just open this, oops, open this up uh, oh yeah and this um, you get it Oh, actually, that doesn't pass over, okay. Uh, one sec, guys. I've actually, recently I made, uh, set up it, set my thing up, my computer up, so it has two screens. So, right now I'm actually on the other screen, I'm just going to bring something in here. There you can see, me bring this in. Uh, so this is what we're going to be making. It's a little form here, and the idea is that you've got these question marks, and when you hover over the question mark, it it um, gives you a description of what you have to put in so you can see uh, you can't really see the why but you can see the end of it you can see it says you must input your name here that's basically what a tooltip is it it gives you an idea of what you're supposed to put in in a certain form input so as well here it says you must input your user ID here okay and that's all we're going to be making a uh, really cool feature and as I said before you can apply the same sort of method to um, anything when I first found it uh, someone was using it to uh, hide and show a login box, okay, so that might be an idea. I don't know, it's entirely your preference. Uh, and in this, we're also going to be using something we learnt about recently, that's uh, mouse over and mouse off, okay, so rollovers, image rollovers as well, but here we're using them differently, we're not using them in links, and we're not, like, uh, changing the actual image, we're... we're doing something different and let's find out what that is uh... let me close this quickly uh... let me just minimize this one as well on my other screen okay um... so let me find... there we go notepad plus plus um... this is uh... the stuff we're gonna need for this uh, tutorial you're gonna need four things okay F the first thing you wanna make is the actual image that you're gonna use as a tooltip uh, so in my case I have this question mark you can see here uh, which I think works perfectly fine um, actually I'm using this on my own side as well if we just take a look keep spawning in this side it's annoying oh well um, if we go to asub.web44 you can see here I've got my own tooltips like so okay uh, so um, yeah so anyway that first thing you need is the image the and then the three other things you'll need you don't really need to do them in any order um, but you'll need a JS file a JavaScript file a CSS file and an HTML file now you can actually just have an HTML file because these two can CSS can go inside a tag in the HTML file and so can JavaScript but when you start expanding your site uh, past a certain point you don't want to have too much in a page, otherwise it just gets crowded, uh, and that's when you start splitting them, splitting them up into files. And so I've just split them up into files to show you what it would look like uh, if you did that. Okay. Um, now let's look at the first page. We've just got um, some basic. Actually, no, we're not going to look at the first page because the most important thing really is the JavaScript first. Um, a lot like the button rollovers where we made two functions for changing the image and then changing it back. Here, we, w we could actually have two functions, but there's a way to do it just with one function. Now, I've made a function called tooltip, and it takes two arguments. It takes a show hide argument, and it takes an element ID argument. Uh, now, the show hide argument is... Um, determines when we call it whether we want to show the element or whether we want to hide the element and that element we have to tell uh, the JavaScript what that element is 
uh, and to do that we give it the ID of the element. Uh, so let me just show you an example of this function in action. For example, um, on our first tooltip, on the name tooltip, we've got our mouse over event and we say it equals tooltip and show because when the mouse is over we want to show the tooltip and we're giving it this ID here and if we just scroll further forward we can see here we've got a div and it has an ID name tip so this is saying show the element with the ID name tip and if we go into the CSS here we can see we've got some CSS for name tip we're giving it a border, we're giving it a background color, we 